in this video we will be creating a prototype of this slider in figma using smart animate so without wasting any time let's start designing so if you want to follow along there will be a google drive link containing all the images and if you want the full figma file it will be available on my patreon and if you want to learn from me book a class right now so let me empty the frame i want to show you the grid i used to create the hero section first press shift r to show the grid press f and create a frame of 1920 by 1080 i'm going to select a component which have the dimensions for the grid I just drag our mouse and drop 60 you can see the number in the left panel now drag another one to 10 20 let's do the same for the rest of them now that our grid is ready let's add color and design our first frame
now that our frame is ready we will use another grid to align our elements and set the border it will be a 12 column grid with 19 pixel margin and 20 pixel gutter and now we will align everything accordingly Now that our first frame is ready, we can just duplicate the first frame and change the background color, the image text and the cube block to make our other frames. I have created all four frames now so let's start animating them so now we will create a new frame and call it the main and copy this one in it I will show you an example first so first I will create a duplicate press enter and select all of these child animals and move them to the right uh, and press arrow and drag the elements out of the frame now we go to the product panel and select the forward button and connect it so we will use smart animate and the easing will be a bit gentle and the time will be 1500 ms so now let's play As you can see when we click on the button all of our elements move up to the frame basically we are going from frame 1 to frame 2 let's edit only the first part let's see the final design ones as you can see our first part is done we have already moved the elements out of the frame but we need the second frame the kitchen to animate simultaneously and for that let's repeat that what we have already done add a frame and align it to the center here is one thing to remember we have already added a frame before so the kitchen frame is in the living room so we need to take it out so every frame has its own name so check it before you uh, start prototyping So now frame 1 will become before and frame 2 will become after. So before the animation, after the animation. Let's move the element out of the frame.
and with everything out of the frame now we squeeze the background color or the outer frame before that let me show you something if we disable the clip content we can see the element that we dragged out so basically the clip content hide everything out of the frame that we have used uh, have, have in our frame section so if i squeeze the frame the element move with it but we don't want that so what we can do is press ctrl and then squeeze until the width of the frame become one now that we have two frames let's initialize the backward button as well with the same properties now when we play the prototype both frames animate at the same time our backward and forward buttons are working properly the first frame moves out and the second frame drops in let's slow the speed down so you can understand easily the first frame moves out and the second frame drops in let's do the third one drag a frame create a before state empty the frame repeat what we did before hold control and squeeze the frame duplicate the main frame and delete unnecessary frames i am deleting the bedroom frame because we have already after frame ready we will use that let's move the element out and drag a frame that will be our after state Now you can see we have before and after of the bedroom frame one is squeezed with its element out that's a before state and quickly let's quickly set up our buttons properties are predefined say smart animate with gentle ease and 1500 ms speed so let's play our design and lo and behold our design is ready everything is animating properly now i didn't animate the last frame so you guys can animate it if you need if you need any help just leave a comment or book one of my classes and i will try to try my best to answer your questions
now for one last time let's play the prototype 